She told me that there were uh, crimes um, of animal cruelty and obviously there was bestiality. And when she told me bestiality, my brain was like, denial, no. And hearing that information is the most awful thing you could ever hear about your partner. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Relify, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, uh, an Adam Britton update. I didn't know that there would be any more of these, but alas, here we are. So, the devastated ex-wife, a vile animal rapist, reveals the moment she learned of her husband's utterly despicable crimes and the sickening request he made from behind bars. I've covered this story pretty thoroughly from the beginning, and all of this time, many people have asked, but how didn't she know? He's doing all of these horrific, indescribable things to animals, to dogs, to puppies, on their property. How did she not know? That's, uh, that's a good set of questions. But the investigators, the police, the, the, the court system, the, the justice system, every, everyone basically agrees and acknowledges that she had no idea. But we're going to go into that now and find out how she had no idea. Before we do, though, do like, subscribe, share, help me grow this channel. Follow me on YouTube at Third Railify if you haven't. Follow me on Rumble at Third Relify if you haven't. And consider Locals, thirdrelify.locals.com. And also maybe for the lulls on Twitter at Third Relify. So with, with, with that being said, so the ex-wife of a disgraced crocodile expert who raped and tortured dogs of dozens has broken her silence over her partner's sickening crimes. British zoologist Adam Robert Corden Britton, 53 years old, was sentenced to 10 years in jail in Australia in August after pleading guilty to 63 charges, including bestiality, animal cruelty, and possessing uh, CSAM material, ch child abuse material. Britton, who worked on programs for the BBC and even welcomed Sir David Attenborough. His poor name gets dragged through every article, every single article about this. And so he welcomed David Attenborough to his home. Um, he was arrested April 2022 after police raided the property he shared with his wife and fellow biologist Aaron in Darwin's outskirts. He had filmed himself as he raped, tortured, and killed as many as 42 pet dogs in the 18 months prior to his arrest and sicking, sickeningly posted footage online for others to watch. So, how did she not know? Well, Aaron was away from home on a work trip at the time of Britain's arrest and learned for the first time what he had been doing when she received a call from his lawyer. So, because she is also a biologist. So, she is off doing things around the world, doing biology things. And then he was like, oh, my wife is in Africa, I think. Uh, my wife is in Africa or wherever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some torturing. I'm going to do some diddling and make some horrific content for others to enjoy. Yeah, he had a, a shipping container on his property, on the far end of his property, where nobody really went. And uh, yeah, it, in that shipping container, he had it was like a it was like a broken bed frame with a stained mattress on it, like a workbench, and where he'd have his cameras like set up. Really disgusting stuff. But as this men mentions here in the second paragraph, that uh, he was sentenced to ten years. 10 years for all of that, but eligible for parole in six, starting 
in April 2022. So this guy is looking at like April 2028 parole. That is shocking. When she told me bestiality charges, my brain was in denial, she told 60 Minutes. It was so shocking. I felt sick. I couldn't speak. Britain was given a non-parole period of six years backdated to his April 2022 arrest and had been contacting his wife from behind bars in the lead up to his sentencing. The audacity of this guy. The audacity. What? What? Why? Why? Why talk to your wife at that point? If you do these ho horrific things that um, the entire world hates you, you think what your wife's going to stand by you or, or understand or, or even care about the predicament you're in? And so she says, shockingly, Britain wrote to Aaron asking her to send him books on dog domestication, breed history, and behavior now maybe you might think oh well because he's like uh he's, he's like an animal guy or whatever he just wants to like stay well read on his on his expertise she says the disturbing request messed with her head considering the charges he had just recently pleaded to he's writing about this as if he can sort of continue his fantasies in his mind and it makes me really angry, she said. And yeah, when you think about it like that, it's like maybe you should, I don't know, get ask her for Harry Potter or something. I don't know, some other long book series that you can read once or twice. Aaron has since divorced Britain. They hadn't slept in the same room or been romantically involved for years. But still, can't fathom the extent of his sickening act. And now maybe you might be like, but why? Why haven't they? Why? Why was it a dead bedroom? Why were they in a dead bedroom and all of that stuff? Well, apparently Adam Britton had some sort of inability to be attracted to, to humans. He was only interested in getting his dick hard for puppies, which is really messed up. And so it was almost like Aaron was his, his beard. You know what I mean when I say beard? like a gay man will marry a woman just so the, the world doesn't know he's gay. He can't be gay. He's got a wife. Same idea. I cannot comprehend still how someone can be so depraved, so evil, she said. He's just destroyed my entire life. Police understand Britain escalated the depravity of his act while Aaron was away from home for work. So she is completely uninvolved in this at all. Totally and completely. That's the question I've been asking myself every day is, why did I not know? What did I miss? She said, scratching my head, trying to look, trying to play back events of the, of the last few years to see if there's any detail or anything, but there's nothing. Britain was calculated in his offending, having sourced the dogs from online marketplace Gumtree under the guise of giving them a loving home. And that's pretty despicable the way that he did that. I'd be like, oh, I'm so sad. My my the last dog had cancer. And it's just a whole thing. I'm so sad and lonely without a puppy. Can I have your puppy? And then people would be like, okay, I guess. And then and then before they know it, that dog was uh, raped and tortured. He also never showed his face in the extensive videos and photos he used. And he used the name Monster and Cerberus, known as the three-headed hound of hell in Greek mythology. He is a psychopath, Aaron said. Well, there's a lot of things to call him. I think psychopath is probably one of the nicer things to call him. He doesn't have any consciousness of what is right or wrong. I feel like I've lost so much of my life and I feel like I've been completely duped. I'm angry and I'm upset and there's nothing I could have done. It's very disturbing. The distraught ex-wife has instead used Britain's horrific acts as motivation to fight harder for animal rights. I mean, I guess that's the, the, one, the one upside. If, if you can squint and turn your head sideways, 
It's brought a lot of attention to animal rights. There's quite a sense of energy about me, a fury. I will do something with my life, and that's, uh, that's a fight for wildlife, fight for animals, she said. This does not represent who I am, and I know that I'll fight harder with every endeavor that I do. If there's such darkness in the world, then there also has to be light, and I believe we have to fight for the good things. Yeah, it uh, turned out that he has um, the para paraphila or something like that. I think it was called, and it basically it's a real is a re he's a really warped. He's like turn he he gets turned on by things that no reasonable human being should be turned on by, which is usually like the death and the torture of things. The Daily Mail earlier revealed details from a 42-page document from Northern Territory Chief Justice Michael Grant about Britain's privileged childhood, which was marred by his depraved sexual fantasies, such as sneaking into paddocks at the age of 10 to hug horses and eat their hair. Yucky. So he was weird all along. Britain uh, told court-appointed psychologists he was chronically depressed before uh, <clears throat> before he started making the home movies of himself, raping and torturing and murdering dogs at the age of 49. He also falsely claimed similar twisted perverts online, where he posted on Telegram and threatened to expose him if he didn't create the content they requested. Well, the thing about this is interesting is because one, he used um, fake names. He had like different accounts and um, he didn't show his face and yada, 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 yada. Nobody knew who he was. It was only like really crazy, like detective work, like in like, like an autistic level of superb detective work. That tracked him down. He also instructed and told other people how to be like him there's like this guy's a messed up dude and there's spin-offs of messed up dudes because of him it's actually pretty psychotic britain also tried to tell psychologists that he exaggerated his offending for the benefit of his online friends but the judge ruled those arguments out he said there was no evidence to suggest britain was depressed he did not tell anyone about it. He did not write a, uh, it down or seek any medical help. The judge also said there was no evidence to suggest that Britain was blackmailed by Telegram users. He said it was evident from the fact that he described his torture videos in great detail to his online friends while saying things like, I just love hurting dogs. It's gross, man. The sentencing remarks all, um, also outlined Britain's lifelong struggle with the sociosexual disorder paraphilia and zoo sadism. Britain was never attracted to humans and struggled to have proper relationships with women when he was a university student in Hong Kong and the UK. He had two female partners, but they were not sexual relationships. After graduation, the judge said that he just had a brief sexual relationship with a woman who worked in the animal industry. Britain also tendered to the court a short handwritten apology detailing his struggles with paraphilia, for which he was too ashamed to seek help. And so we have um, this photo here. It's sort of, this is like an old couch, old couch, uh, a camper, looks like a pile of plywood. But then you see here on, on the upper right, is a, it's the shipping container. This was his torture chamber. And he did all the all the most horrible things in there. The apology read, I take full responsibility for the demeaning crimes I perpetrated on dogs. I deeply regret pain and trauma that I caused to innocent animals. And consequently, to my family, friends, and members of the community, I affected. I let you all down, and I am truly sorry. I now acknowledge that I've been fighting a rare paraphilic disorder for much of my life and that shame and fear prevented me from seeking the proper help I needed. He, he's also gone on to, to talk about how he doesn't want to, to be treated. He doesn't want to stop. He, he, he likes it. He wants to keep doing it. And so this, this whole apology seemed a little crocodile tears. Britain said he was determined to seek long-term treatment to, provide, uh, to prove 
he was better than his horrific crimes and to find a path towards redemption. Please give, please give my family the space they deserve to heal. They were not aware or involved in any way, he added. Britain will never be allowed to own a pet again. So that is the, the update. The wife, Erin, says uh, she was shocked, disgusted, all of those things. Um, it, it's still, I've gone over this story pretty, pretty thoroughly. Um, I, I'm, st I'm still grossed out by it. It's still really gross. But anyways, I, uh, I'm going to wrap this up here. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all of those things. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Take care now.